Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. On this episode, we're talking about resilience. And I think I speak for all Americans that we all have to reach down deep and find another gear because the pandemic hit us, we were all thrown off our game and we had to pivot. To talk about that today, Nina Vaca, she's the CEO and chair uh, person of uh, the Pinnacle Group. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you for having me. Well, you, the, the list of awards is too long and this is only a 15 minute <laughs> show. <laughs> but but I, I just found out folks that her building is right over there, right behind it's you. It's right behind my shoulder. <laughs> the Pinnacle Group. And, and, and um, so, so Nina, tell us your journey. Oh, how much time do we have? <laughs> There's the one minute version, the two minute version, the let's, three hour version. Let's do the, let's do the two minute version. In, to be candid, uh, when asked about my journey, I often describe myself as living proof of what's possible in this country. Mm. I'm an immigrant that came to this country at a very young age. My mother and father immigrated here, come from a very big family of five, just an entrepreneurial family. My mother and father found their American dream through entrepreneurship and civic leadership. So I've dedicated my entire life to those two things, becoming an entrepreneur and a civic leader. So my story is one of incredible resolve in the face of unbearable obstacles. But through the years in the last 24 years, it's also turned out to be a story of exponential growth and um, success. So well, you I'm have, owning it. You have this lovely twinkle in your eye, and I love it uh, <laughs> because I know how fierce you are. And I, I mentioned that you've won pretty much every award under the sun. I found a great piece uh, preparing for this interview, and I'd like to roll that now. Sure. I feel like I've lived a very blessed life. Um, I've earned three honorary doctorates and been appointed by the president as the presidential ambassador for global entrepreneurship. I've had the pleasure of receiving over 170 local, regional, and national awards on behalf of my company. Women for so long have been contributing to this great country, and I feel like the voice is louder than ever. I grew up in a very entrepreneurial family, in a family-owned business, working at the age of 10 years old, and I'm very grateful for that. I started Pinnacle in 1996 at the height of the dot-com era, uh, Fortune 500 companies, were looking and searching for high-end talent. So the market was ripe. So it was months between what I formulated the idea and when I actually turned it to action. In fact, October 29th is our 20 year anniversary. The nine months that took us to get a contract, those were some of the most difficult times in our business. There were times where we'd almost didn't make payroll. There were times that we had a liquidation plan in place. There were times that we were reinventing ourselves. I keep those, those moments and that feeling very close to my heart because the success that we have today is built on that story. It's a story of persevering, of people coming together, and there were absolutely tears shed. Being the first woman in a 15-year history to run the most powerful Hispanic business organization in America, while incredibly fulfilling, was incredibly hard. I'm a triathlete. I love to swim, bike, and run, preferably in the same hour. I've had the pleasure of doing some of the most iconic races. I've swam 2.5 miles in the Pacific Ocean in the Waikiki Rough Rider Swim, ran the New York Marathon, I've cycled the Triple Bypass 120 miles across three mountain passes, I've completed a half Ironman. But two years ago, um, my appendix exploded. And for two months, I 
had to infuse myself with like antibiotics and I had a little colonoscopy bag and um, I had to start over. Um, I lost all my muscle and but I didn't lose hope and I started walking around the block that was my goal was to walk around the block and this year almost two years to the day I crossed the finish line of the most iconic triathlon and for me that was a journey of two years of going from walking around your block to crossing a finish line of the things I used to do. I've lost count of the times where things got hard, but I like to say um, I grow tired but not weary, and I, I can bend but I don't break. Wow. Oh, she got me. <laughs> I wish you could see her, because you haven't watched that in several years, I, I imagine. I haven't seen that in a couple of years. Yeah. Okay, so what got you emotional as you were watching it just now? Just looking at that and, and, and reminding myself of how many times I've had to use my resolve and how life has thrown me incredible blessings, but also has thrown me some really difficult wow. times. And I've never seen it put together like that, um, or really kind of absorbed oh it. So goodness. I appreciate that. You're, you're killing me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean uh, to make you're, you you're cry. You're killing that me. Was that so, was that um, so beautiful. And, and, and you've had to reach down deep again, as, as all of us have. I mean, mm -hmm. tell us about the pandemic and, and what was that like for you? Well, as you know, I am no stranger to adversity. And um, that was a really an incredible piece to just kind of compile both personal diversity and business diversity, uh, adversity. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my third national crisis. It started with 9-11. One of the things that um, the video didn't show is that when I started the company, I started it at the right time in 1996. I had a healthy economy and the wind of, of IT technology and corporations needing that service behind me. Um, but shortly thereafter, 9-11 uh, was a devastating time for us. Uh, that was one of the hardest moments. Well, I've had so many hard moments, <laughs> but that was a hard moment in the business. I remember we almost didn't make payroll. It was a tough time. And we decided then that failure was not an option for us. That is my personality. That's what I grew up with as an immigrant family. That's what the mentality that you grow up with is failure is not an option. You put your head down and you work. And then as an entrepreneur, you figure it out. And so um, for me, 9-11 uh, and 2001 became a renaissance for Pinnacle. And then 2008 and the financial collapse was another challenge. But I am a good student of industry. I am, I, I am a good student of the past and I'm a good student of my industry. I learn lessons from my past. And the beautiful thing about failure is it brings a gift and that gift is experience. Well, and you have amazing people, and I know that uh, just even watching you get emotional as you think about this. I mean, it's you, you wanna you wanna take care of your people. You wanna you got to make great decisions so that you don't have to, you know, uh, lose some amazing families, right? Uh, that's right. And you're making those decisions before the crisis, and that's the really big message. Is we've learned a lot from our past. And so we've made deliberate and intentional decisions that in this pandemic, we were in the healthiest we could have been in, in our, it's kind, it's, it would be similar to approaching any sickness, but if you approach it with a healthy body, um, you're going to come out better than you would if you hadn't. And so for us, for Pinnacle, those lessons allowed us to make technology investments, to uh, focus on our balance sheet, conserve, have integrity in finance, all those things that really kind of led us to this moment. Well, I know you're also very passionate about an organization called GLOW. Tell I am. <laughs> and we would both be remiss if we didn't mention this organization. Tell us a little bit about GLOW. I'm very passionate about GLOW because GLOW addresses two things that in my mind as an entrepreneur for the last 24 years is absolutely critical. Number one, peer-to-peer -peer sharing. I can tell you, Jeff, it is a lonely place at the top. Mm -hmm. It's a very lonely place. Often you're looked to for leadership. And so who do you look to for leadership? Who do you look for when you have challenges? Um, if you have your mentors and your sponsors, that's one thing. But having your colleagues, the people that have been through that mountain, 
who can motivate you and, and help you through those tough times I think is critical. And that's what Global, GLOW does. It is an opportunity to engage with your peers. And the second thing, and probably the most important, is access to capital. Mm -hmm. Small businesses has been fueling the American economy for so long, and the number one issue has been and continues to be access to capital. It's a way of raising capital as well. All right, there's a great video off of the GLOW website. We're gonna roll that now. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington. I'm Samba Bachili. Nina Vaca, Chief Executive Officer of Pinnacle Group. An original shark from the hit TV show, Shark Tank. The CEO of ADS Group. The largest Latina-owned workforce solutions in America. I first identify myself as an entrepreneur when I was 15 years old. My mother and father immigrated here with a suitcase and a dream. I had a front row seat to entrepreneurship. I am living proof of what is possible in this country. Today, the marketplace is, is very tough. The challenge for African market today is its access to capital. The number one reason why we can't scale as entrepreneurs is access to capital. What makes GLOW so different and so powerful is the access to experts, gurus, mentors, coaches, financiers, venture people, money. When I started my business, I immediately went to engage with different communities, different platforms. GLOW makes that experience digital. A digital platform makes it so much faster and so much easier for you to meet like-minded people. The financial pl platform that GLOW have that make GLOW unique. GLOW is about commerce, GLOW is about community, and GLOW is about having access to capital. GLOW is an asset to every entrepreneur in this country and globally. It's, it's about helping you take your business, your idea, to the next step. Wow. Ah, great segment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you guys truly are uh, trailblazers and so many entrepreneurs, they, they, they're going out there and they're trying to do it all on their own. And I always say it's best to hang around other people who have made that mistake first That's because right. they can, you can learn from their wisdom. And if you think about it nowadays, in the past, certainly when I first started the company, conferences. I would go to conference after conference and it's costly. You're getting on planes, you're going to conferences, you're trying to make those connections. But nowadays, having that connection in a digital way where you can do it from your home is incredible. Yes. So kudos to Michelle Lemons for her vision. Absolutely. Shout out to Michelle. And she's done a great job just inviting just quality people into the group. I, everybody I've met through GLOW, it's not a my company is bigger than your company no. group. It's, no. it's a lift as you climb group. Uh, always willing to lend a hand. It's in the, we're in this together. <laughs> yes. So I want you to do me a favor because we're almost out of time. I want you to look right into that camera. That's your camera right there. And okay. give some words to the entrepreneur who is struggling right now and afraid because you've been through it many, many times. I have. Um, like I said, I've lost count of the times I've had obstacles and challenges. And what I could say to every entrepreneur out there is um, there is with faith, there is always a silver lining in every situation. We have to find it and hold on to that. So we can, uh, there, there are ways where we can be sober about our reality, but unwaveringly committed to our future. Wow, thank you. I'm, I got chills. And thank you for the blessing of you being vulnerable. Uh, you touched my heart. Oh, I, I don't know how you did that. I, <laughs> no, that was I, I, I really didn't. Thank you for the opportunity to kind of absorb who I am and what I've done. It was um, beautiful. It was thank beautiful. You. We've got a couple of websites. We're going to start with your website. The pinnacle1.com is your website. And then we'll also put up the Glow website that's with glow.com. And if you're looking for some inspiration yes. um, and information, uh, there's the ninavaca.com website Nina too. Vaca com. I created it a couple of years ago oh, specifically for women who want to go see the path that I've taken, what organizations, what applications, what groups. I want to. I wanted to give more than just inspiration, but information. So you can go to mm -hmm. ninavaca.com and see what I'm up to. Such a blessing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Please Appreciate come it. back. Promise me. Okay. Promise. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.